Hello, this is Michelle and I. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week it's all going on as we have Mercury, planet communication shifting signs, sizzling Venus moving into deep and intense Scorpio, and of course, the very, very special and unusual Saturn, Trine Uranus. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Gemini, Mercury, your ruler, is shifting signs this week, and that's always big news for you because you feel it, you experience it, it impacts you in all sorts of ways. And this week, when Mercury changes signs, he's heading into your relationship zone, which is excellent news. You are able to compromise, you are able to see the other person's point of view, you are able to be less argumentative, and you're able to experience that harmony. You're seeking out harmony and you're actually feeling very positive about your personal relationships and you find a way with your amazing Gemini wit and wisdom to bring peace and harmony all around you. Happy days. On top of that we have Venus, the planet of love shifting signs and I have to say this is a little bit more tricky because Venus is going into your sixth house which is all about you kind of being a perfectionist, it's all about your health and well-being so it may be, well, what would be great is if you went on a, if you're in a relationship that you did things together that were healthy, you went for walks, you know, you cooked healthy food together, you got in touch with both of your needs but it can make you hypercritical of a lover and it can, or you may experience a lover being hypercritical of you so you have to find your balance with that but it can make you want to kind of go within a little bit. Having said that, because Mercury your ruler is in your relationship zone you should be able to overcome it by bringing the healthy into your relationship if you're single you might find yourself drawn to someone who's very health conscious or into fitness and you're, you're not impressed with that but it may be that you feel less sexual than usual less sensual than usual and you just kind of you know you got your head in being healthy and all of that jazz on top of that on the ninth we have the sun sextile Pluto. You're glowing, you're powerful, you're deep, and you're able to shift a few things in your life, make tiny changes that empower you and also show other people that you've got the power. It may be a subtle shift in your approach, but it has massive dividends. Finally, something really important. We have Saturn trine Uranus on the 11th, and this is just supremely revolutionary. It allows you to create a personal revolution in your own life, connected to your intimate, loving relationships, and also how you mix with groups of people. So obviously that's gonna be individual to each one of you. How do your personal romantic relationships and your friendships or your work or your collaborations, how do they go together? Maybe that you meet someone in a group that you end up settling down with because Saturn's all about the long haul. But either way, you find what you wanna to commit to without compromising yourself. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.